Microsoft is preparing to launch the Windows 11 25H2 update, the next big step in the operating system's life cycle. And while it's technically a minor update, there's a lot of buzz around it because of what it represents. The final push toward leaving Windows 10 behind, and the continuation of Microsoft's long-term Windows 11 vision. Let's break everything down, what 25H2 includes, why it matters, and whether you should upgrade when it rolls out. Windows 11 25H2 is ready to roll reports confirm that Windows 11 25H2 has already hit RTM, release to manufacturers status, with the final build being version 26200.6584. In simple terms, this means Microsoft has signed off on the update, and PC makers can now start preloading it onto new laptops and desktops. For the rest of us, this is a clear signal. The update is finalized and could begin rolling out to existing Windows 11 users within weeks. The rollout is expected in late September or early October 2025, aligning perfectly with Microsoft's update timeline. Why the timing is critical, goodbye. Windows 10 this release is more than just another patch. It's a strategic milestone, because Microsoft is officially ending support for Windows 10 in mid-October 2025. That means millions of users still hanging onto the older OS will need to upgrade, and Microsoft is making sure Windows 11 feels polished, stable, and future-proof by then. By shipping 25H2 before the deadline, Microsoft ensures that businesses and consumers alike have a modern OS version with long-term support. It's not just about features. It's about keeping the ecosystem unified as Windows 10 fades out. The biggest change, start menu redesign. The headline feature of Windows 11 25H2 is without a doubt the redesigned start menu. Microsoft has been testing and tweaking this for months, and now it's finally rolling out. So what's new? A single panel layout that removes unnecessary clutter. The option to disable the recommended section, which many users disliked. A cleaner, more focused design that emphasizes apps and productivity over ads and nudges. This may sound small, but for daily users, it's a huge quality of life improvement. For years, Windows users have complained about Microsoft injecting recommendations, promotions, and suggested apps into the Start menu. With 25H2, you finally have control to remove those distractions. Not just for 25H2, features coming to 24H2. Two, here's where things get interesting. Normally, new features are reserved for the latest update, but Microsoft is shaking things up this time. The new Start menu and other 25H2 improvements are also rolling out to Windows 11 24H2 users. That means, even if you don't upgrade immediately, you may still get the redesigned interface. In fact, some 24H2 users might see it before 25H2 users, depending on how Microsoft phases the rollout. This unusual approach has left many asking, what's the point of 25H2 then? What is an enablement package? The answer lies in how Microsoft is now handling updates. Instead of shipping massive new builds every year, 25H2 is an enablement package. Here's what that means. All the new features are already baked into Windows 11 24H2. They're just disabled by default. The 25H2 update flips the switch, unlocking them system-wide. This method makes updates faster, safer, and easier to deliver. But it also means the difference between 24H2 and 25H2 is smaller than traditional upgrades like Windows 10, Windows 11, performance, stability, and support even. Though 25H2 doesn't introduce revolutionary features, it still has value. Microsoft is making under-the-hood improvements to ensure Windows 11 runs more smoothly. Some areas where improvements are expected, stability fixes for crashes and bugs, security enhancements to protect against modern threats. Extended support timeline for 25H2 users, giving businesses an extra year of coverage compared to 24H2. Early benchmarks don't show major performance boosts, but keep in mind tests weren't run on the final RTM build. Subtle improvements in responsiveness and efficiency could still be there, even if they don't make headlines. Why this update feels lukewarm, critics are already calling 25H2 a lukewarm upgrade, and they're not wrong. Unlike big past updates, this one doesn't bring flashy new features or game-changing performance leaps, but that's by design. Microsoft is treating 25H2 as more of a stability milestone than a feature-packed release. The idea is to give users a smoother, cleaner version of Windows 11, while preparing for bigger innovations down the line. Think of it like a service pack from the Windows XP and Windows 7, 
days, an update that fine-tunes the system rather than transforms it. What this means for everyday users. If you're already on Windows 11, you're probably asking, should I upgrade right away? Here's the breakdown. If you're on 24H2, you'll get most of the new features anyway, so there's no rush. If you want longer support, 25H2 is the smarter choice since it extends your update cycle. If you love the start menu changes, you may not need 25H2 at all. You could get them on 24H2 first. So the bottom line is this. 25H2 isn't essential right now, but it will eventually become the standard. The headline feature of Windows 11 25H2 is without a doubt the redesigned start menu. Microsoft has been testing and tweaking this for months, and now it's finally rolling out. So what's new? A single panel layout that removes unnecessary clutter. The option to disable the recommended section, which many users disliked. A cleaner, more focused design that emphasizes apps and productivity over ads and nudges. This may sound small, but for daily users, it's a huge quality of life improvement. For years, Windows users have complained about Microsoft injecting recommendations, promotions, and suggested apps into the start menu. With 25H2, you finally have control to remove those distractions. Not just for 25H2, features coming to 24H2. Two, here's where things get interesting. Normally new features are reserved for the latest update, but Microsoft is shaking things up this time. The new start menu and other 25H2 improvements are also rolling out to Windows 11 24H2 users. That means, even if you don't upgrade immediately, you may still get the redesigned interface. In fact, some 24H2 users might see it before 25H2 users, depending on how Microsoft phases the rollout. This unusual approach has left many asking, what's the point of 25H2 then? Final verdict, a bridge to the future. The Windows 11 25H2 update isn't about wowing users with new tricks. Instead, it's about solidifying Windows 11 as the future of desktop computing while saying goodbye to Windows 10 once and for all. Yes, it's a smaller upgrade. Yes, it feels lukewarm compared to some past rollouts. But it also gives us a cleaner, distraction-free start menu, a stable, secure foundation for the next phase of Windows, extended support that keeps your PC future ready, if you're chasing big, exciting features, you might feel underwhelmed. But if you want a refined, stable OS with longer support, 25H2 is absolutely worth having on your system. As Microsoft prepares for the next era of AI-driven Windows experiences, 25H2 is the quiet but important stepping stone that ensures everyone is on the same page before the real big changes arrive. Here's where things get interesting. Normally, new features are reserved for the latest update, but Microsoft is shaking things up this time. The new start menu and other 25H2 improvements are also rolling out to Windows 11 24H2 users. That means, even if you don't upgrade immediately, you may still get the redesigned interface. In fact, some 24H2 users might see it before 25H2 users, depending on how Microsoft phases the rollout. 